everybody. How y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the When we dry them up, too cool. Now go too deep, you know. Yeah, yeah, fair watch it, you know. Our troops, see that? Apple cider vinegar and our troops. Come up at right, make them get saturated in the gravy and all of that. On today's episode of the Jamaican Cooking Journey, I'll be sharing with you how I prepare my greens. You know, so in Jamaica, we have a primary um, green leafy vegetable that we cook. is like kalalu. And then this is pak choy, well known. Also, we have this in abundance in Jamaica too, mustard greens. These greens, I love, 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 love them. I don't know about you. I normally put them together when I do mustard greens and pak choy. I normally put them together. Now, for preparation, <clears throat> I have a little fresh green thyme. I'm not using all of this though. I just use two small stalks of escalion. I'm going to be using three cloves of garlic and a little piece of ginger root. I did just went ahead and scrape my ginger root sparingly. I'm going to use a little margarine or butter, whatever you call this, to put it together. Of course, I'll put a little freshly cracked black pepper. And at the end of the cooking, salt is the very last thing that i had so this is what the mustard greens look like yeah and uh, this is the pak choy so for preparation i like to pull them definitely apart reasons being sometimes you get them and you get little snails little stuff like that in there so i always like to take rear half pull it apart search it and sometimes the dirt as it as it grows in the soil inside these places you want to i personally take them off separately and i'm going to be doing that and i'll do the same thing for the mustard greens so now that i've searched them and doing this process if there is any little thing on the leaves any little leaf that's not so looking so cute with any little yellow spot you can remove them what i like to do next is I have here some salted water, you know, just room temperature, not hot water, warm water. I like to submerge them in salt water for a pretty three to five minutes to let the salt water cleanse them. That is how I cleanse them. So I'm going to leave it right here in my salt water. And also after that, I like to rinse them with a pretty good dose of just fresh water. When that is through, when my salt water cleansing is over and I've rinsed them and all of that has happened, I'll come right back to you and show you how I proceed. All done. Fresh, clean, nice, vibrant looking. What I want to do, I want to pat dry. Not a hundred percent pat dry, but I want to get the excess water from them as these, they you know, they produce a real good amount of um, liquid when the heat catches them, like with cabbage. But I don't think these produce as much as cabbage because these, the leaves are not like cabbage, so they don't produce as much. I think the watery part would be in the stem. So I like to pat dry with my, if you can, if you want to use your, what's that thing? And towel, you can go ahead. But with a nice clean cotton towel, I think it works better. Taking out the excess moisture. So my vegetable is relatively clean and I'm going to continue pat drying and come back. So it's time for cutting. And if you notice in the prayer clip, I did say pat dry. Whilst cutting, you get these little parts. You can just easily nip them off. This ear is not dirt. This is just the way some of them is this is okay for me maybe not for you so now it's time for cutting I don't like to cut them like shredded like 
I like to put them this size. Why? As soon as they start to steam down or as the heat takes them, they become so dwindled. So, and then they become all, you know, fine and start mushy, getting mushy. So I like to put them like about a one inch. Yeah, that's just me. I'm sharing with you. Maybe you don't do it that way. Yeah. So now, you see, you put it together. This is how it looks. One inch. Yeah. I'm going to go get them all cut off. I return and I mix you notice I just mix the mustard and the pak choy they have the same you know none is like chewy more than none so I always mix them now all hot dry and I say you don't have to definitely dry as chips you just want to have it not dripping so right on over here I have a wide skillet and I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of butter to the amount this is due to the amount of vegetables that I have I want to start swirling it around you could use a wok too goes pretty fast but you have to pay attention I eat right here yeah we do this and I eat I'm gonna let my butter get all melted and I want it right across the length and breadth of this thing I'm gonna let the butter melt, get to a little heated and, um, um, temperature. I'll come right back. A little sizzling light, you know what I'm saying? A few sprigs of this thyme, depending on the amount. If you have fresh rosemary, that would be more beautiful with these green herbs. The flavor of rosemary goes much better with these mustard greens and this pak choy. That's what I find. But if you have time, you use it. This is how I'm putting off my scallions. And this is how I'm just showing you how I do it. This is not necessarily how you want to do it, but I'm just sharing. So you have that sizzling coming along right across the breadth of this pan. So we're going to be doing a little swirling thing around. This is definitely, if you, are, if you have been here with me from the longest while, you will know that this is just flavoring. I am flavoring the bottom of this skillet. And the bottom of the skillet is like pretty thick. So we want to use it. We don't want to use that way to burn. So if you are using your wok, you gotta know how to do it. You can do this in your wok too. You know, you see them Chinese people do it. So this is basically, you don't want to get it burned now. Yeah, so you are just, you see that? You could use oil, your oil of choice, olive oil, peanut oil, whatever you want to use. And as I swirl this around, you realize that these are like breaking down. You see, they are not so firm and vibrant again. And you know, the E takes them and they are just like that. Look at the bottom of it, all over. Now it's time to put my greens in, right in all over and as you as it hits the bottom of the skillet with that thyme and with that scallion you smell this thing you see what i'm talking about when i say pat dry i've added all my greens and this is my container i have no water dripping okay this is what I like to do. so now it's time for me to start the heat is there at the bottom. It's time for me to start moving this around. But what I'm doing here in this skillet won't be anything long. Probably about less than two minutes it will be. So I'm just showing you how I do mine. So you make sure you get those things on the bottom up. And I can tell you, wow, this time, this skillet, and as I said, up for rosemary. I did not have rosemary. You can see right in your face. How these greens are being broken down so fast in this skillet. Mm? Take keen attention too that you ain't got a lot of water, any water building up. Look at this. Over, I am putting it over. These are starting to cook. They are breaking down. And that is why I say I cut them one inch. Because when they are through, they will just have this even out. You don't want to cut them too fine. Look at this. These are breaking down. Okay? Look at this. It's quite evident. The skillet is not hot. This is how these greens operate. Look at this. 
these greens are supposed to be really crunchy they are not supposed to be cooked until they are dark in color dripping with water and going on with all that i like these greens all crunchy look at this look at this this is time now to turn my skillet off and i know you have said but after me not see you putting a salt or nothing okay i i am going to put salt but this is what it looks like crunchy and nice yep look at the green part as opposed to the white part pay keen attention to the bottom of the skillet not having any water dripping and all of that in there now it's time to remove the skillet from this heat on this burner why this burner is still relatively hot the bottom of the skillet has heat and it will continue to cook these vegetables which you know what they might cook them have them are cook them all over the place look at this look at that these are ready to be served now it's time for me to add a little cracked black pepper to liken a little salt to your liking i'm not a person that likes a lot of salt and two if you proceed to put too much salt in these they'll taste so bad a little more you're just incorporating the black pepper and the little salt right there this is it let it stay right there another 20 25 seconds 30 wouldn't do any harm add in my garlic freshly grated garlic a little freshly grated ginger and that's it you remove your thyme sprigs and then you'll be ready to be served i'll come back to you with them all plated up From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your palate, and most of all to your stomach, it is your crunchy yet just green leafy vegetables. Please do enjoy. Now, if you are making a meal, three course, four course, whatever, and you're gonna use this, you do this last. When you do this, you're supposed to be ready to be served. These are supposed to be just add warm crunchy and nice that is how i do them i hope you did like you want to add that ginger little grated ginger a little grated garlic at the end when you take it off so you will have that fresh vibrant you want to grate it if you don't if you don't want to use fresh ginger you can use um a little ginger powder and a little um garlic powder if you don't have the fresh so you can do it that way thanks for the love thanks for the support remember to check in the description of this and all my other videos and lives that you will see all my info remember to check out our merch store remember to check me out on patreon see what content i've been producing over there so not producing i've just been sharing over there once more my pak choy and mustard greens steamed just for you you asked for me you asked of it i have delivered